Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming. Welcome to The Ascendant. I was given an opportunity to play this game early and oh my god, it is a whole lot of fun. For those of you who don't know, this is a brand new adaption shooter game. No, what exactly am I talking about? Well, that's what this video is about. We're going to be breaking it down step by step, going through the tutorial, talking about all the different game modes for the new Ascendant game. You know what to do. Let's go. Once again, thanks for watching, everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, well, let's get started. I'll leave a link down below to the website. You can still sign up and possibly join the beta that is taking place right now and in the future. Now, this adaptive shooter, once I got my hands on it, it reminded me of three different games. One, Call of Duty Warzone. It is, after all, a battle royale. And then on top of that, a little bit of Fortnite and a little bit of Exo Primal. You see, there are these different creatures that are in the game. You can shoot and you can get different drops from them as well as power strategy is required because there is going to be a ton of enemies that are here. Teams of three are battling against each other to get these things called bio cores, which basically are giving you permanent upgrades once you finish the match. So, you do have a lot of power. Not only do you have your guns, you also have abilities as well. Combat vehicles, shields, guns you can all buy in game. And then you have some permanent unlocks that you can have as well. And here's something that's really cool and different. You can bank money. So just in case you're playing with a teammate that keeps dying, something like that, it's all good. You can have stuff just waiting for them to pick it up. And because it's 3v3, it's also functioning as a team deathmatch. You have a slight amount of lives that you can use up and then you're done. And then inside the match, it kind of functions like uh, domination. So you get the power cores, you launch those power cores into this system, and then you gotta wait and it's like a huge beacon for enemies to come after you. But better than me talking about it, let this guy tell you exactly what we're about to get into and more about the game. Hello. Hello there, sunshine. Been a while since you've been conscious, so your brain probably feels a bit like horse glue. You're probably wondering why you feel like you've been in a coma for a millennium. Well, you have, but at least you're one of the ones that didn't come out looking like cottage cheese. So you got that going for you, which is nice. You will have likely forgotten pretty much everything from before 10 minutes ago. So I'm here to bring you up to speed on what's been going on since you've been frozen and what to expect. You were supposed to be frozen for about 200 years, but unfortunately we sort of overshot that landing by about a thousand years. Whoops. In that time, our biological engineering that was supposed to save the planet succeeded in turning the planet into a hostile hellhole dead set on murdering us in any way it can. Even the fucking snails can murder you. Really? <laughs> Where are you? You are in what we call the shade of our Earth tree, powered by its life-giving tree juice. So here you can get your bearings, customize your weapons, try them out, try out vehicles, and when you want to fight, we have a dueling area for that. Wait, we do? I've just been using the cafeteria. Now, there are other shades with other less good looking fucking douchebags living in them. And since there aren't enough resources to go around, we all get the pleasure of blasting each other to fucking bits, competing over them to stay alive. So before you were frozen, you may have been a dental hygienist or an accountant or a vegetarian, but now you're a fighter because that's what we need. What you're gonna be doing for the majority of your time. I recommend you get shot with lower caliber rounds and then build up your immunity from there. Hopefully this has helped. If not, I don't care. I mean, I think they get the fucking point, okay? They're gonna, they're gonna get fucking murdered anyway. All right, from there, you are then taken straight into the quote unquote tutorial but before you do there is a little bit of character customization you can switch out the head body clothing and finalize your character there's a huge 80 themes vibe going on here throughout the whole entire game so there's a huge spin on the 80s when it comes to that which sets it out to be a little bit different from other 
games in this genre. Now, once you finish up the tutorial, then you'll be able to finally get yourself into a real match. But before you do, they give you a breakdown of what you have, and that is abilities. On top of everything, you have really cool abilities as well. But it's really more about the bio cores. Here's more information on said bio cores, and once you acquire them, and what is going to take place. Here we go. Well done. That'll start securing. But if some riffraff gets too close and tries to crash the party, the clock will stop until you show them the door or push them back to where they belong. So consider these fellas your practice dummies. Give them a go. Well done. In a normal match, there would be three shiny bio cores to fight over. It doesn't matter which order you secure them, just try and get more than everyone else. Once you've got it secured, it's yours. That bad boy is locked in and no one can take it from you. So quit loafing and get back out there for more. But here in tutorial land, we're done for now. So let's head back home and let's see how you handle yourself in a real match. So finally, we are here at the hub. Now, in the hub, there is plenty of things that you can do. A lot of mini games over here as well. Hide and seek, and some other cool stuff, my dude. And on top of that, I'll probably get a copyright strike if I just go ahead and play the music because blaring through all of this is a lot of cool 80s music, including it's the final countdown. You can hear that just blaring all through the background. There's a whole lot of shops over here as well that you can eventually unlock once you get to certain ranks, right? So it's a whole lot that you can do inside of this, not just a battle royale. No, there's plenty of weapons, upgrades, abilities that you can get, and on top of that, a whole bunch of different game modes and some really cool music to go along the way, if I don't say so myself. Here's one of the mini games that I was talking to you about called Hide and Seek. Plenty of mini games on top of other game modes inside the game. Now, as far as my gameplay is concerned, well, it got a little corrupted, but they're gonna have another gameplay test today, so I'm gonna be grabbing some more footage for you. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. But look, it's all a lot of fun. If you was looking to know more about the Cindy, hopefully this video has helped you out just a little bit. It's a whole lot of fun, my dude. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a game you should look out for, for sure. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. Now, as always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. And don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpal Game. We'll a wide variety of videos ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.